BC, construction was begun on a wall to ward off the invaders from the north. Its success soon prompted other walls to spring up along the countryside until finally they were connected and fortified by the Ming emperors to become the great wall we know today. Since its beginning, it has served as an impenetrable barrier to countless armies. Even an assault made by Genghis Khan, the world's greatest conqueror, was a failure. Tonight, you're going to witness a very different attempt. David Copperfield is going to try and walk through the Great Wall of China. stretches from the ocean beaches in the east to the impassable mountains of the west. Its tremendous length of over 2,500 miles is roughly the distance from one coast of the United States to the other. It stands 30 feet high, and at its base is 25 feet thick. The wall's immense size makes it the only man-made object visible from the moon. I've been joined by a Chinese translator, and we're here with Mr. Gao Jimwa, one of the members of the Great Wall Committee. Sir, you've examined the site. Are there any holes or openings in the wall? No, the wall is completely solid. Do you see any way that David can walk through this wall? Absolutely not. Now, we all know it's impossible to walk through walls, and I felt the same way until I heard about this monastery in Tibet. They found the bones of a man embedded in a wall. His entire skeleton was stuck, trapped inside the wall, running in and out of each brick. The only explanation they could think of was that a monk had discovered a form of meditation that allowed him to pass through objects. Experts aren't sure whether he did this often or whether it was his first attempt. One thing for sure, it was his last. Scientifically speaking, what that monk did wasn't walk through the wall. He diffused through it. The McGraw-Hill Encyclopedia of Science and Technology defines diffusion as the actual transport of mass in the form of discrete atoms through a solid. It's very easy to understand. Take an ice cube and a piece of cardboard. Both are solids. But if that ice cube should become hot, it would change its state to water. Then it can join with and eventually pass through that piece of cardboard. Then it can refreeze on the other side. We'll be able to track David visually through the use of this remote controlled camera. Cutting to another camera, we'll be able to see David enter one side of the wall, and in a continuous motion, the camera will move over the top of the wall and hopefully see him emerge from the other side. are placing electrodes on David's chest. They are connected to a transmitter on his body. Receiving dishes have been strategically placed to pick up David's heartbeat. The signal will then be displayed on this EKG monitor. That way, we'll be able to see if there's any increase or decrease in David's heart rate as he progresses through the wall. I'd like to remind you that David uses absolutely no camera tricks. The illusion you're about to see at home is exactly the way you'd see it if you were here with our live audience in China. Ladies and gentlemen, the magic of David Copperfield.